All right. So when you last left us, we were struggling with uh, Filgore's fireworks, and we had created a rather horrific bug by fast traveling through a door while our bard was performing. So, yeah, that happened and was uh, was unfortunate. So I went back uh, between streams and actually redid it. So we're we're no longer bugged. So if I if I head back out here, uh, the world is going to look a little different. But uh, yeah, we were we were performing here, and we traveled through this door. And when we traveled through that door, our performance got locked in, and all of these NPCs just perpetually followed us around. It was uh, it was vaguely catastrophic. But the exciting news is that I found a new bug after I don't know how many. In fact, I do know how many. After about 300, uh, 300 uh, times. Oh, shoot. Oh, Inlustrous gifted another sub to Sam. Thank you so much, Inlustrous. Very, very kind. Once again, my, uh, my, my auditory notification didn't figure itself out. I got to figure out how to make that, make that work. But uh, <laughs> very nice, Bray. But let's let's talk about what is the most game-changing facet of what we have learned about Baldur's Gate. So I do I do a pretty good job keeping my stash in extreme uh, organization levels, but I learned a new tip that has completely blown my mind, and that is that at any time. You can, like, so if you open up a, a chest, normally you you have a bunch of, like, duplicate items that could be stacked. Like, you know, our, uh, our food, for instance, here used to have, like, a bunch of bottles of wine all along here, and now they're fully stacked. And there's no button to do that or anything like that. But what you can do, and we'll do it with we'll do it with our ribcage, and hopefully we don't crash the game. So you can see we have like a lot of rotten bananas. They would technically stack, but how do we get them all to stack quickly? And this this has a lot of crap in it that we eventually need to sell. What you can do is click the take all button, which moves it to our inventory. It also like explodes our inventory. We're now carrying two thousand out of that. But then if you click on the same stuff, shift click to the end and drag it back into the rib cage. I may crash the game. <laughs> it's it's actually hanging. This is kind of amazing. Oh, there it goes. So now you can see that it says 956 and the contents of this chest are now fully stacked. No multiple stacks of carrots. So so there you have it. That is a way to consolidate items, which is, uh, it's an absolute godsend for things like our uh, our potion chest, which can be a real pain to manage. So being able to take everything out like so, and, and it goes much faster when you're not doing 1,000 items, then you drag it all back in, and bam, it's fully consolidated. Same with scrolls. By the way, I cheated in Gale's pouch, this is when you kill Gale, you get Gale's pouch. And I did this just because I thought it was a nice place to keep all of our scrolls. Yes, Sam. I, I am being very thorough. Uh, although in this case, that uh, the rib cage, if I went through my, my inventory, just because we have a moment here, uh, the fish bucket is all of my valuables. So this is stuff that... Uh, you know, there's only 64 things in here, but it's worth 15,000 gold. So I keep all the silver that I find, all the gemstones, etc. Then our camp supply pack is for all of our camp supplies. The crude chest, I keep one of every standard weapon that we find, in case I want to do something aesthetic. And then I also keep one of every armor that we find. Although apparently these devil foil masks, if you have multiple characters wearing them, they have some interesting... Uh, effects that I didn't know about. When you have people in proximity, each person that is in proximity gives you plus one to strength. In fact, we can we can do this really quickly because I just thought this tip was so interesting to me. So if if I wear one of these masks, nothing happens, right? No new buff has been added. But if you give another one to someone else 
and they wear it as well. Hello? There we go. Then this buff shows up, Infernal Legion. Uh, condition, you are one, you are legion, without personality or individuality, born only to fight. When within 20 feet of another creature wearing a Maragon mask, strength is increased by one, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma are decreased by one. So this would be super fun for a full party of of strength-based heroes, and I think it would be super cool to have everybody wearing those, because that would be, in total, I believe, plus three uh, strength and minus three int and charisma to everyone, which is pretty, I think that's pretty neat. But anyways, I digress. Uh, these, are, these are the things you didn't know, didn't know you needed until you knew you needed them. Oh, where did I put the other two? Were they down at the bottom here? Yeah, they were down at the bottom here. Doot, doot. But yeah, so I keep I keep one of every aesthetic thing, couple of hag masks, etc. Then uh, the innkeeper's lockbox is for all my uh, overflow consumables. So arrows go in the barrel, potions go in here, dyes go in the gilded chest. And I think this is scrolls in here. I, I rarely uh, get rid of scrolls. Then... This is the idol of Sylvanas, still protected. Party, yeah, party full of barbarians. That could be very strong. And you get it relatively early in Grimforge. So it's not even like you have to get out of Act 1 to get them. Uh, all of the enchanted items that we've found are uh, weapons in our opulent chest. And our uh, peculiar clothing chest contains all of our items. Yes, I will show you my Asterian in just a moment. Our Susser Blooms live here, uh, double bagged, but but present. Then the rib cage is uh, is sellables. So things that I have deemed as unimportant, I collect, and then when we end up at a vendor that I want to clear out, I can just grab a bunch of things from this and sell them because they're already pre-stacked. Uh, two attacks per action with Asterion. Uh, as a ranger, you get it at level 5. I, I am thinking about a new build for Asterion. The wicker chest contains all of the peculiar items that we have found along the way. And there, so there's some really interesting like odds and ends in here. It's where I keep all my paintings, etc. This uh, cart cartilaginous, I believe cartilaginous i think uh chest contains all the like funky items that we got from like the gin and some of the items that we got from from mall like the ring of being really <laughs> invisible or the ring of resistance to ants then uh this wooden chest contains all the instruments we found not that many to write home about uh, this container is my container of containers. So this contains all the containers that we've found. So when you see a number here, like 10 wooden crates, inside of it, there are 10 wooden crates. So if I ever need another container like a painted chest, I have four of those handy, although not sorted terribly properly. But uh, yeah, this is, this is useful if I ever need those. And then last but not least, and Sam, I think you were the one asking about it. Here's my barrel mancy chest. <laughs> and as you can see, we have, how many smoke powder barrels do we have? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have like 44 barrels of smoke powder. Got some barrels of water. We have the three rune powder barrels. We have a bunch of oil barrels, a few nautiloid tanks, and uh, some fire wine barrels. And that is, uh, that's my inventory. We also have a little bit of cash because I'm, I'm pretty obsessive about collecting it. But yeah, let's take a look at, uh, at Asterion because I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about changing Asterion. But, uh, but for now, uh, he is a, we went five levels in Ranger followed by seven levels in Rogue. So we're getting a pretty beefy sneak attack and we went Gloomstalker and Assassin. So Gloomstalker gives us, uh, Gives us uh, the inability to be surprised, uh, high initiative, uh, some stealth, and then uh, Assassin gives us crits on surprised enemies and a few other things. So we're very, we're currently very front loaded. No, I, I re-rolled him into a ranger and we did five levels in ranger, then we got the multi-attack off ranger and then we pivoted into rogue. Uh, Although we did it around level five, so 
I, I don't remember exactly when I decided that that was the way to go. Yep. Yeah, so so I, I found Rangers to be more effective because I think it was really hard for Sterian as a rogue to get at to get two people. So that was the that was the frustration. But let's uh let's get back out into the world and we will uh we'll wend our way around. But yeah, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about going a eleven levels ranger, one level cleric on a Sterian. Because there's an interesting build there where at level 11 you get volley which essentially turns your action into a area effect action with weapon damage so you're doing a bunch of damage and then one leveling cleric allows you to get war cleric and war cleric allows you to use your bonus action for one more attack so you can get three volleys per turn which uh is a pretty interesting thing i haven't uh, i haven't tested it out quite yet Sorry, I'm doing one more bit of my setup here before we uh, before we press forward. But yeah, let's let's just do some exploring. We're uh, we're still pretty happy. I think we are. We're we're out of superiority dice, but I don't think we're gonna need a lot right away. So we'll we'll wait until we've taken a bit more abuse. So we've done this. This right here, I believe, is Sorcerer's Sundries, which I'm excited about. But I'd like to go to old Garlo's place here. And then also the counting house is down here, which I think is pretty interesting. We do have murder target Frank, which I don't think we've messed with. Let's go see if we can do that really quickly. I just want to confirm. Yeah, where, where exactly is that? Okay, so that's up this way. But yeah, Filgore's fireworks was all cleared out. I, I did it a second time uh, better than the first. What happened? Ooh, what is this bell mechanism? Ooh, we got a little... Hold on. Hold on a second. Ladders are for chumps. Ooh. Don't mind if I do another one for the fish bucket. Can we go higher? Can I get up here? Ah, oh, boo. So let's see what we have to say about this. So it made a bell noise. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Oh, actually, and while we're while we're up here. I'm glad that peop that me using my illithid powers to fly around doesn't alarm people, I will say. All right, let's see what these two have. We got Filson Vago and Serdrana Hoyt. So I assume this was a bell tower. I think that is the reason. I think that there was a bell tower located right here. And when it crumbled, this bell... Oh, there's a bell and a bell mechanism. Hold on, I only messed with the bell mechanism. Oh, okay, so that makes the actual bell noise. Do you think if we ring it 700 times, something happens? That's that's usually the way this game works. Free bucket. Nice. Oh, this could have been useful for getting up to Filgore's fireworks roof. Ah, maybe that's what this was for. That's clever. Okay. But yes, there's there's a reason the tag on our uh, on our stream is uh, extremely thorough. Oh come on! Oh no! You really you really gonna do this to me? Shovel shovel requires so much hand holding. I don't know what to say. Come on, jump out, buddy. Well, I mean, we, we did so much exploring underground. Okay, so, oh, this was, okay, this murder target was, we already did this. And the mailbox, did we check this? Yeah, we did, okay. Okay, cool. So let's, we're, I want to continue along the coast. 
Uh, it's it's in the actual title itself, Sam. We uh, we upped our game, our title game. That's the primary thing. I'm still disappointed that Talk to Dead doesn't work on these guys. Ooh. Well, ham hawk for you. I'm still going to do it because I want to get Talk to Dead activated so I don't forget it. The corpse does not respond. Yeah, and Lustrous has been on my, uh, has been on my case for, uh, for not having Twitch compliant. Yeah, this was the, this is the mess that I made. I did loot them, right? Hold on. I'm pretty sure I did, but just to be, just to be absolutely sure. Meat and garlic. It's a great combo. What can I say? I think I, I think I cleared all this out. There's always room to improve. That's the beauty of this, uh, of this profession. And I'm always open to, uh, I'm always open to feedback. Okay, good. I think I did. Okay, so I did clear this out. Good. All right. We'll, just, we'll open the window and we'll fly out this way. Uh, I mean, it, it is a work in progress that is never fully finished, but I think this weekend I'm going to try and actually record the video. It is it is going to happen. Uh, the spreadsheet looks really good now. I added, like, icons and all kinds of things. So, ooh, I see a merchant. Uh, I think there were there were two people there, and then and they were gone. Hello, Barsic. Have you come to swear yourself to Shares by my paw? Of course I have. Shares as in Shares's caress? Sure. Yes. And no. Your kind has lost their way in their worship of the feline of felicity. You only hold to a basest tense. Mm, interesting. Now, will you heed our mother's call and bolster her as she crushes the heathen absolute beneath her divine paw? Yes, I pledge myself to Shares. Definitely. Yes. yes. Together, we shall spread the word of the wonder in her every poor step. I will sing her name in the streets, and you will bring her prayers to those suffering two legs instead of four. Praise Shares. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we got two vendors here. We have... Fits the firecracker. Need something for defense? Or maybe offense? Either way, I've got what you need. And yes, Sam, like like Illustrious mentioned, I'm working on a video about the last spell trying to demystify the way that stats contribute to overall top line defense. Answer once and for all the question, is reliability good, etc. Alright, let's see what you have to offer. Okay, so we got the dead shot. We got the flail of the ages. I've heard about the flail of the ages. Three many multi-hit arrows. Okay, so let's see. We definitely want these. We always want more multi-hit arrows. We'll take the flail of the ages. Take the dead shot, because we... We, we like our things, even though, is this any good? Improved critical. Number you need to roll a critical while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack keen attack. The wielder doubles their proficiency bonus when rolling ranged attacks with this weapon unless they are disadvantaged. Ooh, this seems like a very good bow. That's interesting. Any of these arrows worth picking up? I think we have enough of most of them. Okay, and then this crossbow, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, so we'll do that, and we will barter away. My my general approach to this type of stuff is I'll just uh, I'll just head back to camp, and we will uh, we'll quickly recoup our money. 
That's that's generally the the answer, but it's good to put some actual numbers to it. I I think is the is the vision. Like some people come in to stream and they're like, "Oh my gosh, you need to do so much more with reliability. It's the best stat." And I'd like to prove it. Yes, Sam. Yes, we uh we we met Anser and we know their uh their sad fate. Is this spear not Is this spear fair game? It is. Might be useful. Free. Thank you. <laughs> so then we got this guy over here, Gloomy Fentonson. You in need of protection, friend. <laughs> what am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. The beard be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. Even your character said might be useful. Yep, questionable usefulness. Let's see. So we got armor of agility. Is that really? Does that really cost four thousand? Add your full dex modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor does not pose disadvantage. Plus two to saving throws. Ooh, it is an expensive boy. Interesting. And then is that the only? Yeah. Okay. That's the only thing he sells. Interesting. All right. Well, let's uh. The way. Let's uh. We'll just quickly. We'll just quickly go grab some stuff from the rib cage. This is this is why we rib cage. Thirty-five AC. I have yet to find the shield. That's the item that has uh. Has forty. Uh, has four armor on it. I believe. I have not seen it yet. But let's see. We can get... Maybe like here. Maybe we'll grab a few more. Oh, we are heavily encumbered. Let's, uh, let's not completely destroy ourselves. Easier to don some armor than... I think I think there is a four armor thing. So let's see. What is it? Let's see. So we can sell the wares for 3,000. Does he have 3,000? He doesn't. Uh, all right. Maybe this, maybe this first one will do to the other person. The beauty of being heavily encumbered is you still fly at full speed. Something caught your eye then? Careful. So let's see. She has four thousand, so we'll we'll do that to recoup a decent amount of cash. Oh, it shows our full our full money total. That's interesting. But yeah, whenever we find a vendor, it's it's a good opportunity for us to get rid of some of the garbage that we've collected. I think there is one shield with uh, with four though. There we go. Yeah, I, I believe that's the shield that I'm referring to. Okay, so we will we'll buy that. If you can manage the extra weight, that is. We didn't get much in the wares category. We still have six thousand to go. All right, we will get uh, we'll get most of it over here. The the armor is where the big money's at. So so this this section here is where things get a little ridiculous. Every pair of armor you find is, is good money. Yep. There we go. There we go. All right. If you can manage the extra weight. So let's see. Where did the Where did the chess piece go? I know I bought the chess piece. It wasn't added to wares. What actually happened to that? Does he still have it? Did I sell it back to him? No. If you can manage the extra weight. Oh no, there it is. Okay, there was just a. 
It's just hidden? Ah, I was way down at the bottom. I got it. Okay. And sometimes things get scrolled off your screen, and it can be somewhat deceiving. But there we go. All right, let's get let's get the gear we've collected from this one somewhere else. The dribbles pieces need to remain. But that's that's close enough. We we recouped most of our investment. We've got most of the stuff. But yeah, rather than going to figure out what's going on in this town square, because I think that feels like a whole a whole stream. We'll head over this way. Mind control charms. Hmm, interesting. We're rooting out disloyal elements among the problem citizens, all right? Now move along. Interesting. As you were, citizen. What's my name? What's my name, Steelwatch? Greetings, citizen. I trust you are having a safe and productive... And product. Guts, this is totally obnoxious. But I guess I'd better keep my lips sword shut, eh? So they're doing some type of like background check or I stole an apple once when I was nine. But that thing won't know about it. I hope. Hmm. I hope so too. I wish we could get this over with. If I don't make my deliveries, I don't get paid. Be patient while these citizens are evaluated. This is all routine. Make no sudden moves. Hmm. As you can see, there's no trouble here, right? And I'm sure you don't want to cause any. I mean, speak for yourself. There's a temptation. But we'll check out this house here. Is there something here? Okay. Flim's Cobblers. Flim's Cobblers. Walk in a pauper, strut out a duke. Anytime you're going through a door, you should double check. <laughs> All right, Flim's Cobblers. What do we have here? That's curious. Okay, we got, oh, a portrait of Gortash. Let's see what that's about. That's Gortash, isn't it? That is a great picture of him. Okay. Be very welcome to Flim's Cobblers, humble family home of our Archduke Enver Gortash. Oh. He may not have followed in his old man's shoe steps, but Archdukes, not so bad, is it? 